Welcome to B&E Product News, supporting specifiers and buyers on the move. All headlines on this audio podcast are linked to construction and building services sector and associated manufacturing and energy-focused product news items currently available on businessnetexplorer.com. First, the latest product news in the electrical segment. Mega's new MTO250 series ometers are readily portable mains-powered instruments that have been specifically designed to accurately measure the resistance of all types of magnetic windings. Typical applications include the testing not only of transformers but also of shunt reactors and the windings of rotating machines. In addition, MTO250 test sets can be used for performing many other types of low-resistance measurements. Among the many safety features built into the MTO250 as standard is an auto discharge function that operates when the test is completed, in the event of power loss or if a test lead is inadvertently disconnected. A safety interlock circuit is also provided, together with provision for the connection of a strobe beacon to provide a visual warning that a test is underway. One of the UK's most popular cable management ranges has been updated to offer up to 15% more cable capacity, easier fitting and quicker, more secure installations that are even better looking. The Sterling Range by market leader Marshall Tuflex has been one of the market's best-selling trunking solutions for almost 25 years, with Sterling Profile 1 being the star performer of the range. Now for news focused on the mechanical and HVAC sections of the industry. Constructing large dimension pipelines is challenging and requires specific designs of the pipeline components. Georg Fischer's GF piping systems electrofusion couplers for water and gas applications are therefore made for quick and reliable connection of your pipes and spigot fittings. Even under difficult site conditions, the electrofusion couplers from GF Piping Systems provide a long-lasting and safe connection thanks to the careful design. A new video from Mitsubishi Electric shows how the company took its head office from an E to a B energy rating and offers advice on how other companies can do the same. With tough legislation focusing attention on energy use in the built environment, how we heat, cool and ventilate our buildings is coming under scrutiny as never before. Russell Jones, who hosts the video, explained, We've been on an eight-year journey, and one of the things we are saying in this video is that any business could and should be planning to improve the performance of their building. He added, just like any other company, we have had to make a strong business case for each new piece of equipment, but the fact that we've improved so much and have significantly reduced running costs shows the advantages that can be gained. The video can be viewed on the company's dedicated YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Mitsubishi Electric 2. And finally, our construction segment headlines. An executive with more than two decades' experience in the construction products market and who believes in leading from the front has been appointed managing director of Crittle Windows. Stuart Judge has joined the Witham-based company, the world's oldest continuous manufacturer of steel windows from Everest, where he was commercial director. He takes over the helm at Crittle from John Pyatt, who has been MD for the past 16 years. Pyatt now becomes company chairman. Extensive conservation and remodelling of the Grade 1 listed All Saints Church in Kingston-upon-Thames saw Clover Permo air underlay used in the choir vestry re-roof. The £1.7 million project, designed by Ptolemy Dean Architects, a practice specialising in conservation work, has opened up two entrances on the church's north side, transforming the church into a revitalised centre for heritage and community in the heart of the town. Permo Air has an unmatched standard of breathability and its growing use in conservation and restoration projects is matched by a similar degree of use in new build work. A standing seam roof in VM Zinc Quartz Zinc Plus has been used in Howell Associates' design of Wire Forest Crematorium in Kidderminster. It consists of a series of floating roof forms separated from walls with a frameless clerestory glazing. Acoustic considerations were a prime concern due to the proximity of an adjacent industrial estate, major road and rifle range. 
Zinc, with its Green Guide A rating and compact roof build-up, was selected to deal with the complex geometry of the main chapel and used alongside green roofs on the site maintenance building. Dual Chass Architect's design of a building in Stanley, Perthshire shows the benefit of being able to install Facro roof windows at varying depths. The visual aesthetic is greatly enhanced by their low profile in a structure which takes the timber from the roof into the walls with no visible rainwater goods. Eight non-vented triple glazed FTV U5 centre pivot windows were used with thermal combination flashings and XDP fitted undervelt collars around each window. Architect Alastair Stephen commented, The Facro windows were used because of the wide range of sizes and the scope the company offers for project specific customisation. They are also great value compared to other glazing systems. Timbermet, one of the UK's largest distributors of timber and timber products, has played a major role in the restoration of the nation's oldest roller coaster, the Scenic Railway in Margate, Kent. The Grade 2 listed timber framed ride, which is now open, is the focal point of the revamped Dreamland Funfair. For this project, Timbermet worked closely with Doncaster based WGH Engineering Limited, the company contracted to rebuild the two trains of three carriages each with each carriage accommodating up to 28 passengers. The Scenic Railway project presented a unique challenge for WGH, which usually works with aluminium and steel. As this was the first time our company had worked with timber, explains WGH director Tony Brown, we approached Tim Met for advice and assistance in sourcing the appropriate material that would not only maintain the spirit of the original 1920s design, but also meet current legislation and satisfy modern day requirements. Just three years after its first Queen's Award for Enterprise presentation in 2012, Ancon Building Products officially received its second award on Thursday the 15th of October at a special ceremony at its manufacturing site in Deeside, North Wales. The 2015 award for international trade recognises Ancon's outstanding success in growing sales across new and existing export markets. It follows the company's previous Queen's Award for Enterprise in Innovation for its groundbreaking lockable dowel, a system that has since revolutionised post-tensioned concrete construction. And there is good news for all users of stainless steel fasteners. Precision Technology Suppliers are pleased to announce the publication of a new 500-page product catalogue. The catalogue covers the full range of metric and unified stainless steel fastener they can offer. They have been working on their e-catalogue for a long time and this has been very successful. However, they felt it was time to produce a hard copy version. The catalogue will be available in English as a hard copy and online in five different languages. To request a copy or to download the e-catalogue, visit www.pts-uk.com or email the PTS team at sales at pts-uk.com. So there are the latest product news headlines for the construction and building services sector. Full items and support images can be found on businessnetexplorer.com along with a powerful search facility to access all available product news content from leading and -and up-and-coming brands. Items include product launches, application stories, case studies and exhibition appearances. Why not follow us on Twitter at BNE Product News? We tweet headlines with links to all items as they are published. You can also join the Business Net Explorer Club and receive information regularly by email www.businessnetexplorer.com supporting business to business this audio podcast is powered by businessnetexplorer.com and is a giant peach new media production